All right, we're going to be using the electronic notebook provided by the smart technology makers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in smart notebook into my Google search. And I can see here my first option is smart notebook collaborative learning software. And that takes me to the smarttech.com website. And then I want to use express for education down here. So I say learn more and then try it now. Now once you get here, express.smarttech.com, you can safely bookmark this and come back to it later. And then I'm going to say I want to open an existing notebook file. So I go find the notebook I want to open. It must be .notebook. And I say open. And it's going to go ahead and pull that up. Now the problem with the notebook files is that they can only be accessed through this website. You will not be able to access them by opening them as a PDF or as a JPEG file. Now the advantage of this technology is that it's all free to use. It's available on the internet, so you don't need to worry about downloading anything. You don't need to update any drivers. It should all be very easy to access and use. The one downside is it does take a few seconds to download the Applelet and open the file up. So you have to wait for that all to happen. So give that another few seconds. And there it is. There are our class notes from today. And you also notice that they are marked with the date and the time that that page was created. So you can kind of go through what we did in class, at least as far as notes that were written on the board. Now, if you're looking at this and thinking, oh, geez, I still don't really remember how to do any of this, that's OK. Because while we're here, if you go back to Mr. Osterman's channel over on YouTube, Algebra Chapter 7, let's go back to Playlist. This is what you see first. So you click on Algebra Chapter 7, and down on this margin, all the problems we did in class, including the most recent things we touched on, like the special products. And there it is. All right. There you go.